Hello everyone, my name is Frederick and I'd like to show you some new software from Toby where we basically gauge enable any game that you can think of. And some of the things we do is, for example, we streamline the user interface in the game and we've also uh, improved many of the parts of the game that aren't really working that well without eye tracking. So I'd like to show you some examples of this. And the first example is in uh, Deus Ex. I can, instead of having to remember each and every hotkey, or, for example, go through the tab menu, so to navigate to different screens, I can press tab, of course, and then just click on the different screens. That's how you usually would do it. I can just remember one hotkey on my mouse, so when I hold down that key, it's going to show me a menu with different icons representing the different menus in the game. So I just look at one of the menus, and when I release the button, it's going to take me there. So this is the inventory screen. And I can also go back doing the same thing. Another thing I'd like to show you is in StarCraft, where you have the minimap, of course. And to be able to navigate the minimap, you have to first move your mouse down here to the minimap, and then click somewhere, and then move the mouse back. And that's very tedious. Not to mention that you also lose control over your army. So what we do instead is we use the same button as in Deus Ex, uh, this mouse button here. So when I hold that down, it's going to show me the entire minimap, or the entire battlefield, over the screen. And I'll just look somewhere, for example, on the enemies over here, and when I release the button, it's going to take me there. So uh, this is a much faster way to navigate the minimap. Uh, some other things you can do in StarCraft is also, uh, we've added features to let you scroll the screen while looking at the edges of the screen. So I hold down a button, and then I look towards the edges, and it's going to automatically scroll in that direction. And also, I can give commands to my units, if I just start it up here, and then uh, hold down another button. And when I hold down that button, every Every hotkey in the game is going to become gaze enabled. So I just look somewhere and then press the hotkey and it's going to trigger where I'm looking. So I'm doing this. And you can see I'm not moving the mouse in between the situations. I'm just pressing the T button. I can also do that with the sentries. So if I select the sentries here, I can deploy force fields where I'm looking. And uh, I can also, of course, attack move. Or any other key I want to use, basically. Some more hardcore feature for StarCraft uh, is one thing that we call the Analyzer, which will actually help you improve your game by extending the replay format of uh, popular games such as StarCraft 2, Dota 2 and League of Legends. So what we do is basically we add gaze data to already existing replays that you replay inside the game. So if you look at my screen here, uh, this is just some, uh, some StarCraft 2 game where we have recorded gaze data as well. And you can see these red and green dots on the screen that's where I was looking at that part of the game. So I can see, for example, if I got dropped, I'll be able to see, oh, I wasn't paying attention to the minimap when that drop came in. Oh, maybe I need to look at the minimap more, even more, you know. Uh, you also have interesting statistics such as how often you were looking at the minimap, how often you were looking at your resources, and also it'll notify you, for example, if you have uh, very low looks per minute on the minimap in a certain part of the game. We've also aggregated an, an index that will tell you, it's a comparable index, so you can see like how much you've improved since your last few games. Uh, so hopefully that will be very helpful to you guys to want to see your progress as you get better at the game. One of the biggest strengths of this software is that you can basically apply it to any game that has OpenGL or DirectX support. Um, but it has its limitations, of course. With real source integration with the game, you could do so much more. So, for example, uh, modifying the user interface depending on where you're looking. So, hiding meters or other parts of the UI that you're not really interested in right now when you're not looking at them, and then showing them when you're looking in the general direction of them. For example, by modifying the opacity or moving the graphics themselves. Uh, you could also uh, give the gaze data to the AI of the game. So, uh, improving the AI in different ways. Imagine, for example, a boxing game where the boxer, the opponent boxer, uh, blocks where you're looking. That's kind of how it works in real martial arts as well. Uh, the opponent or, and you are always trying to figure out what the other guy is doing. And the easiest way of doing that is to simply look where he's looking. And you need an eye tracker to do that. There is no other way. And my personal favorite feature is what I like to call passive gaze triggers. And that's basically integrating eye tracker with any object or any part of a character in the game, really. So, well, for example, imagine a medieval bar and uh, you have the bartender and you have the bouncer at the front so when you come inside and you look at the bartender he just nods at you you know because the game knows where you're looking and you can even nod back since we have head tracking as well in the hardware 
uh, or for example the, bo the bouncer at the front, uh, we could gaze enable his sword or his money purse. So when you look at the money purse, for example, he he's like, hey, don't steal my money, or or similar. Uh, or for example, if you know Metal Gear Solid, uh, the particular scene in the first game there, you all probably know what I mean. Uh, you could do stuff like that as well. And uh, uh, I mean, the technology is here right now, so you can get the dev kit and start implementing all of these killer features into your game.